weather here in the Detroit area led to some fun tailgating. Right here at the Silver Dome, these fans anticipating the final round of the 125 East Supercross. And of course, as Chad Reed goes for seven in a row to sweep this side of the nation series, the 125 West Bests will also meet him in Las Vegas, May 4th, for that East-West shootout and the final round for the 250s at well. Pay-per-view, live and direct from Las Vegas. Our Nissan LCQ results now for the 125s. The final four gate positions. Meninga, Hatzel, the veteran Barry Christen, and Pilati. Make it to the main event. Summy, well, he gets the gas card. Checking out our lineup now for the final 125 East race of the season. Kelly Smith actually had a faster total time in his qualifying heat than Chad Reed. Jeff Gibson, his finest qualifying of the season. Eric Sorby right up there, Steve Boniface, Buddy Antonez as that battle for third is real important to these riders. It is, and see Buddy sandwiched right between the two fastest guys with the exception of Kelly Smith. Sorby right there to his left, Reed to his right. And those guys aren't, guys aren't as far to the inside as I thought they might be. You got Josh Woods and Dowd to their left on the far inside gates. I think you're going to see some guys get shoved in this first corner. They, they took it easy through there in the heat, but at the main event, that whole shot money's up for grabs, and you need a good start and have a shot at the win here. 30-second board is up. This will mark another great race from this pillar of tradition in Supercross, the Silver Dome in the Detroit area. It's sideways. We're set to go now for the 125 main event from Canada. He goes right over the bike of Boniface. Mm -hmm. ah, what a tough break there. Mm -hmm. And Kelly Smith, who looked like he got the whole shot, just got shuffled way back in the pack. That would be his fifth of the year. Number 28, Brand Adjustment, our leader, coming off a second straight sixth place finish. He showed he's got the speed with a terrific comeback in that last race in St. Louis. On lap six, he descended to 15 before finding his way back to six. And Sorby puts the block pass. You can see it in the burn behind him on Antonet. Takes over second. He's still got two riders between himself and Reed. Remember, Reed starts to the pack in the lead in speed race, both in the quickest lap times, but Jessamine already out of the picture. And Andrew pick up six points on Boniface. That's the big question as far as third place in the points in this final race of the season for the 125 East. Jessamyn, Sorby, Antonez, Dowd moving up to fourth, and Reed is on the move. He just moved into fifth. There's Reed, the last one right behind Dowd. 103, making the move on number 16 on the KTM. Reed. Unbelievable. Reed made a little mistake coming out of that corner. Still did the double and did the next one. He wasn't really set, but he knew that if he couldn't do that, he's going to lose contact with Antonez. He's got to keep the pressure on. Great shot of the whoops now. Antonez, number 100. Let's check it. Check out the start once again. Look at Reed, 103. Reed right at the bottom of the screen gets a little bump. Has to let off the power right behind Mike Brown. Kelly Smith out front, just edges. Jessamine for the whole shot. 
shot, so he does get five out of eight, as predicted. Reed right here. Terrible start, but he's already up into contention. He's got a great chance to win this main event. Mechanic doesn't look too concerned right now. Uh, Zach White is as cool as ever. He's seen as uh, Chad Reed come up through the ranks twice this year. Reed has had so many, uh, such a variety of ways of winning in those six previous victories. Now, if he can win another one, we're going to see another variety. Just a little hiccup right there, losing some time. Uh, he's in, up into third now, trying to close the gap on Sorby, and he's slowly closing it, but Jessamyn is gone. 50 lap lane to win. Not short like a qualifying race. It'll give Chad Reed time to get up there and compete. Jessamine just hopes he can break away. Check out the pass now on Antonin. Check out beautiful Reed. Floats that bike to the air sideways. Sets himself up for the block pass. Nothing Antonin could do but try to cut back underneath him. And he kind of blew that a little bit. But you kind of get the feeling that Reed was going to get around him anyway. Back to Jessamine. He'll be celebrating another birthday coming up in a few days. About three days from now. Boy, would that be a great birthday present. His very first Supercross victory. We'll be right back to Pontiac to see if Brandon Jessman can hold off Sorby, Reed, and Adonis. 